Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to rip a DVD, such as this one right here, to your Linux computer. Now, for this tutorial, you're going to need a computer running Linux with an optical drive. So it must have a drive capable of reading DVDs, whether that's an internal or an external drive, USB, doesn't really matter as long as it's something that can read DVDs. Keep in mind, this is how to rip DVDs. If you want to know how to rip CDs, which are audio, DVDs are video, if you want to know how to rip CDs, check out this video up here and that will show you exactly how to do that because the process is different for both of them. Okay, so once you are on your desktop, you're going to want to go ahead and open the terminal. We're going to install Handbrake. So first you're going to type in sudo apt update. Once you've updated, we're going to type in sudo apt install Handbrake. If you would prefer to go to your distribution software manager such as Mint Install or the Ubuntu Software Center, you can totally do that if you want to install it from a graphical source. This is more distro universal. So, Once it's done installing, we're going to go check real quick. As you can see, it's right here, handbrake. We are going to go ahead and open it. And now while it's doing that, oh, it's already done. Um, you can go open your optical drive. I'm going to put in my turbo DVD. Okay, so it just came up here. You have just inserted a video DVD. So you can test and make sure that it works and everything. Probably should, but you know, for copyright reasons, I can't. So I'm just going to click cancel. We're going to go over here to open source. And we are going to go detected. Oh. It already got it for us, but if it doesn't already have it, just go to Detected DVD Devices and click Dev SRO. Open, and it's going to scan everything. All right, so it's done. Now everything should be pretty much set up the way we want it. The only thing I would recommend doing is go to Tags, make sure everything's like you want it. You might not want everything in big bold caps here, so gonna set that to how I want it. You can fill in all this stuff. I don't really care. Um, and when we go over to subtitles, this is just gonna put some weird words on your screen during playback and you can't get them off. So I would just recommend clicking this X right here to just get rid of them to have it not scan for subtitles. And other than that, we can go ahead and click start. And this may take a couple minutes to a couple hours to even a couple days, depending on how powerful your computer is. So it only took about 30 ish minutes for me, but it says encoding done. And if we go to our file manager, it should be in our videos right here. Turbo. So there we go. That's how you do it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below if you haven't already. And those of you who have been asking in the comments and everything, uh, the next video that I'm going to make is going to be a Linux Mint installation tutorial. And Linux Mint is a very popular Linux distribution and very easy for pretty much anybody to get used to. So that's what the next video is going to be about. And then after that will be a video basically introducing you to it and you know getting you familiar with the system so for those of you who would like to switch to linux make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that y'all have a great rest of your day